assalamu alaikum dear viewers the game i want to share with you guys today is my rematch with uh, super gm with a rating of uh, peak rating of 2696 uh, uh elia ne uh, nezenik from ukraine we previously played a game uh, in a simultaneous exhibition in which uh, we play a very popular line of uh, Slav defense uh, Zich variation. Uh, fortunately, I won that game, so it was a sort of a rematch again during a simultaneous exhibition. And now I uh, I am having leg pieces and. Uh, we will discuss this game in some depth, especially the opening phase, because uh, it uh, these openings lines are very rich, and uh, there are so many possibilities. So it will be uh, uh, we will analyze the game as well as the opening, and it will be the seri second series of our learning initiative. Uh, so get ready. So in the game, uh, the super GM played d4. I replied with uh, knight f6, c4, g6. As uh, I was uh, planning to play Grunfeld, and I was hoping to get it. Uh, and he play, uh, played knight c3, uh, and I was very happy to see this move. And I replied with d5, he takes, knight takes, and here there are few variations. The main line is e4, but uh, the second most popular move in this uh, uh, position is bishop uh, d2. Bishop d2, first I saw a game of uh, Nakamura. Uh, some years back, and uh, uh, that got an impression on me, and then I start preparing uh, something in these lines. The um, uh, this line is Bishop D two line is played by Carlson. It was played by Anand. It was played by uh, many other Carpos. Played this line a few times. So it is a very popular line and uh, the concept of this line is that white uh, want to take back at c3 by a bishop instead of by the b pawn. So in this way he will be uh, supporting the uh, pawn chain in the center. And will be easily able to play d5 as soon as possible and exchange the dark square bishop. So that is the concept, but black is not in a hurry. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Elia Nazanik played bishop d2. Uh, miss, uh, this is not a new line that uh, the super GM played. Uh, he has a game in this line in 2008 against, I think, uh, Etapo, Epito, uh, uh, both were in a 24-50 range at that time. So, I was uh, knowing that he might pl play this line of Grunfeld, as he did. So, I replied with the bishop... Uh, uh, g7, which is the main uh, move in this position, he played e4. Uh, so I took, he takes, and I played c4, and he replied with d5. Now, the main asset of black in the Grunfeld is this dark square bishop, but uh, black is forced here to exchange this bishop. That is an accomplishment for the white. But the opening is very rich and there are so many lines. Let's stop here. 
there are so many possibilities uh, in this uh, variation uh, in the game the most popular game in this line was played by Vishwanath Anand the five time world champion against the world uh, recent world challenger uh, Mr Ayn Nipponyashi and uh, he beat Ayn Nipponyashi uh, I think like in 16 17 or 20 moves which was really amazing this game was played in 2020 and this game was so much popular and we discussed that game in our club as well so in that game mr uh an uh nipponyashi played queen d3 but it later transposed like this so mr anand played bishop c4 and uh, Nippon Yashi replied with uh, Bishop e6 and Mr. Anand uh, castled and Nippon Yashi played uh, this move which is a huge blunder because uh, uh, after this move if you take the bishop the, he, uh, the white will reply like this and at this position uh, the mate is unstoppable and uh, Mr. Nipponia, she resigned the game uh, in 17 moves. So, uh, many super GMs played uh, from this position. That is the TBR position of uh, this line. Uh, so, uh, 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 the few lines in this variation, the most popular main line is Queen D2. Then other possibility is uh, uh, knight f3. Uh, another line is with bishop uh, c4. Uh, there is also a line with bishop e2, but uh, that's not uh, very dangerous. And there is a main main move uh, h4, very aggressive. So. Uh, if we go in details of a uh, few of these variations which I prepared, uh, let me so the TPR position uh, is. After c5, d5, bishop takes, b pawn takes, and castle. This is the tibia position of this variation, and the main line uh, is after the back uh, black castle, white play uh, queen d2. The queen d2 is supporting this pawn push. White want to play uh, f4 e5 and uh, uh, this is the uh, the style in which white plays in grun uh, against the ground field so the black replied with uh, uh, queen d7 white play uh, f4 anyway and here e5 is the main move and uh, again there are a few ways that the white can play like uh, in a game with the uh, Recently, I saw a game, in, uh, not recently, in the 2020 candidate, Mr. Anish Giri uh, versus MVL. Maxim, uh, the Anish Giri played uh, Bishop C4 move, um, but uh, Knight F3 is also possible uh, in this position. So, uh, the uh, theory goes like uh, 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 bishop c4, the white replies with uh, this pawn temporary sacrifice and just to uh, break the center of the white by uh, diverging the bishop and then the games develop this way and uh, 
there is very little in this game uh, and uh, you can see the position this was uh, I think uh, uh, Giri game uh, the, not Giri there is also a game Tomonashkiwi versus Neponiachi and it's a very dryish position apart from this uh, uh, knight f after knight f3 uh, this is one possibility but white can also play uh, knight f, uh, f3 instead of bishop c4 and here take and again this was the game that uh, 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 Nipuniachi lost against the Anand so that's uh, the main move here is d4 and takes takes the white doesn't want to take because he will be pinned uh, so he will castle and black will play knight uh, c6 and uh, there is a possibility to interpose the uh, bishop at d5 but again uh, we are forcing white to take this and then we will be able to take the f pawn so the theory goes this way uh, so the queen d2 is the main line uh, in this position so uh, we the best reply here is uh, queen d7 but there is also another reply which we will discuss uh, like in the next chapter uh, after castle uh, black can immediately play e5 i don't like this uh, uh, move after queen d2 because after d5 you are supposed to play e5 and then develop bishop on the e6 square uh, so uh, black uh, pawn structure is uh, very haphazard so i i personally don't like it but it is equalish and the game goes on like this and uh, uh, this line is played also so e6 is possible but uh, uh, more interesting is queen d6 the another possibility when instead of queen uh, d2 uh, let's reach our tbr position uh, is direct knight f3 but uh, the problem with this line is that the bishop will uh, the large square bishop will pin the knight and after that we will be very happy to play this position without a knight and black is black has equalized so there is no major danger in this line so direct knight f3 is not uh, very ambitious there is also this anish giri line with bishop uh, although which is not named as anish giri line but uh, i use as a memorization uh, this early uh, bishop c4 we will reply uh, usually with uh, the same move now now knight has two possibilities either to go to e2 or f3 suppose you go to the e2 then we will play f5 that is uh, very important we don't want to let y to develop because uh, he has a big center so we have to attack on the center as soon as possible and uh, we will develop the knight usually in these lines we develop the knight to the d7 square and then go to the uh, either b6 and in some cases to f6 as well so uh, here the bishop is attacked twice and then we will move the, because they cannot take the pawn and uh, this is very interesting line because uh, here he cannot play uh, the, this uh, c4 uh, four move so that is another possibility but but knight can uh, also develop to f3 then as usual if the knight goes to f3 we will pin and 
exchange uh, the knight with our light square bishop and the game goes on as the pawn is spin so we regain the pawn and uh, this uh, position is uh, uh, almost equal uh, with a slight edge for white because of this pawn but if we can blockade the pawn there is nothing uh, very dangerous the last line i want to show here because i don't want to involve you people in too much uh, theoretical debates uh, is this line with uh, direct uh, fo here uh, there are multi uh, multiple ways to play uh, like uh, we can play e5, we can play queen d5, we can play knight f uh, d7, all thematic moves of this variation. Uh, so after this uh, slight review of the theory, let's go back to the game. Uh, where is the game? Okay. Okay, let's go back to the game. Uh, so he played e4. I took the knight. He took with the bishop. C5, d5. I took the bishop as in proper theory position. And in this position, instead of going to the main line with queen uh, uh, d2 or line with knight f3 or line with bishop c4. He went for a very aggressive h4, and I replied with the uh, e6 square, the e, uh, e6 uh, move. This e6 uh, move, of, uh, whenever you are attacked from the flank, remember that we have to break the center. Whenever there is a flank attack, the opponent is attacking on the flanks then you are not supposed to close the center if you close the center his attack will be very easy and very effective but if we open up the center the flank if uh, attack usually uh, loses effect because his king is in the center and this uh, he uh, he ha he will be facing uh, his king safety problems as well so he uh, uh, in uh, uh, played uh, this uh, e h6. I took the pawn. He took this pawn. Here, after a, a few minutes start, uh, I took this with f pawn, which is not very good because uh, in this way I can keep the pressure in the center, and his king is in the center, and he is very behind in development nothing is developed from his side apart from this rook only one piece is developed so uh, but i took i was having a special uh, uh, idea that uh, i want to use my queen in this file as his king is uh, uncastled uh, so f2 will be very weak so i want to use i wanted to use this open file he immediately uh, sensed the danger and uh, as his king is in the center, so the better he forced me to get to the end game. And here I played uh, uh, I played uh, bishop to f6. The I, I didn't uh, directly attack uh, the pawn or uh, given him the check because uh, now i think it was better to give immediate check because his bishop will be forced here and then i can play and he will not be able to play the bishop to c4 as he did in the game so it was a slight inaccuracy from my side but uh, i was uh, very much interested to develop my pieces as quickly as possible he replied with knight f6 now i checked and he moved hmm. So in that position, if I checked immediately, 
he would have moved as well hmm. okay so the game went like this i played the uh, rookie one he uh, went to king d2 here i replied with uh, i continue with my developing moves i played knight uh, d7 he tried to pin my knight i played rook a to d8 and he uh played c4 uh to anchor this pawn i was uh, thinking to get rid of this bishop so he exchanged and played rook a2 uh, e1 i took this rook he took back and then i played this move i was hoping uh, that if i, I can uh, destabilize his c4 pawn this uh, pass pawn, protected pass pawn will be weak and i will be able to gobble it and uh, then uh, my position will be very promising but uh, the gm was not interested uh, first he took the tempo this way and then move the king to uh, c3 and uh, now it, neither the push nor the taking the pawn is in the favor of black so uh, especially that is a mistake because my this pawn will be lost uh, very soon so i played this move to stop any sort of uh, g4 and to destabilize my bishop he played uh, knight to c6 and i played this now after this check i can move here and there is a tactical problem for him as well so the gm played uh, e6 move uh, a6 uh, a3 move so i continue uh, developing my king and here he came back with the knight and i played this move now my idea was to uh, get my pawn rolling and get a pass pawn here so his uh, rook will be uh, uh, um, busy uh, stopping this pass pawn and i will be uh, able to mobilize my bishop and uh, move my king uh, to better squares then i can exchange here and i will be uh, taking this pawn and uh, I was very happy with my position. Unfortunately, uh, or fortunately for me, for but unfortunately for the super GM, that he ran out of time, and he lost the uh, this game on time. Uh, so this was my second victory against him, and uh, I played the opening very well, uh, and uh, my preparation was good. I prepared the normal Grunfeld exchange variations. I prepared this bishop d2 line again, and uh, 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 it was uh, a very healthy activity for me. So with that, thank you so much. Uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, good night.